Hello and welcome to another DMM Games unboxing today with a that I wasn't planning to open in the beginning since uh, this is like not my my favorite art style or my favorite character design. I did take a look into some of the the card artworks and yeah, it was not super exciting to me. There are some cute artworks, but yeah, from all the DMM games uh, releases, it's not my favorite. But uh, there was a sale on all of these boxes since uh, it's a uh, at that TCG now or for quite some time. And yeah, box prices were pretty, pretty low. We have one PR card with a nice looking foil effect. But it's even on the character. Okay, I'm not a big fan of this uh, this effect going into the character. Would have liked it more in the in the background. But it's looking cool on the sword also. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, the the regular price or what's like the MSRP was pretty high for for DMM game boxes. And this is even a collaboration of August. I, I've seen this logo or the company name before. I think they do. Yeah, they do the the Lies TCG releases too. I guess there were like some collaboration, if I remember correctly. So it's like a a video game company. And yeah, we start with a bunny. It's a bunny girl, I guess. And some command cards, which are yeah not my favorite. They are pretty small, but the character cards are nice. Okay. Oh, I, I was thinking that this is not a not a loot set, but maybe, or maybe this is the only card. But what's funny is that uh, with this rarity, it's just a rare, but the foiling effect is just in the background. I would have liked, as I said, uh, the same foiling as, uh, yeah, the same foiling for the PR. Instead, they they have the foiling effect going over the character too. Okay, more character cards, and this is yeah, this is the same character, I guess. It's like a, a demon girl and a command foil. Not my favorite, favorite effect, but I like how, how the effect changed the size of the pattern, depending how you tilt it. It's not bad. I think it's unique to this set, or maybe I, I haven't uh, looked into it so much before. Okay, we got an elf girl in the library. Another character card and uh, an elf guy I guess but yeah I I think there are two secret rares again in this set there should be some rare yeah two secret rares and the secret rares are numbered as far as I know they are always numbered there are no unnumbered secret rares and they have unique artwork so Oh, a VR? Oh, that's cute. Not that bad. Maybe I've looked into the the wrong set or I just looked at some characters that were not this good looking, but now seeing these cards, uh, I'm pretty happy I picked up this box. But yeah, the, the Secret Rare artworks are unique, so... It's not like in, in other TCGs where you have like a, a regular secret rare and then you have the same artwork and then there is a, a serialized number on it. It's really, it makes it a lot more amazing to pull a, a serialized card since it, it's the only way to get this, this artwork. Another rare. Now this is... Nah, she looks a little bit like Chibi art. I know it's not my my favorite character design for this one. Oh, this looks nice. 
It's, yeah, because of my, my lightning. Uh, the details get a little bit lost. Maybe this is better. Yeah. The artwork looks great. It's just very, very bright. And another rare. So yeah, no, no texture on these rare or VR cards, which is not that great. I mean, if I, if I would have paid like the original price of twelve or thirteen, uh, thirteen thousand yen, I would be kind of disappointed with like the the card manufacturing or foil treatment. For for such a high price product, they should have put more variety into the the rarities. It's also very hard to like distinguish what is a rare or what is a VR. From from the foiling, it's not different at all. So yeah. On in a sale, these were like four thousand or with with taxes maybe four thousand five hundred. Yen, which is like, yeah, okay, an okay price to pay. She looks cool. She's like a pirate. At least there's like the skull and uh, a dagger. And I do like this artwork. I know it's, at this point, it is a very overused, like a, a moon in the background to, to highlight the character or to give like a contrast in the artwork. It's used so often but I don't know I, I still do like it and especially with the with the bats in the background so she's like a, a vampire girl I guess it looks cool and it's just uh yeah just a rare again and another rare. okay a duplicate of the uh, the demon the heavy demon girl So there should be, if I don't m miss remembering it again, we have five different super rares. And I think you should get one super rare per box. Oh, she's like a Nico maid or not a Nico. This is more like of a raccoon dog or yeah. Funny. Another rare. Yeah, they, they are pretty. But really not really not worth the the MSRP price. Well yeah, let me know in the comments do you think it that these cards are like worth the, the big price tag. I don't know if this was like part reason why this TCG has failed. No idea. But uh yeah, I think it was just way too expensive. I mean, now we have the Divine Cross TCG and they have priced the boxes similar and the sets are very small. So far, I haven't picked up a, a single box of Divine Cross. The artworks are pretty loot. And it depends from set to set. There are some sets which uh, have like half naked, very young looking characters. And I'm really not a fan of that. And yeah, together with the high price and the lack of uh, diversity in, in artworks, you get at least from the basic sets, you should get every card in in one box because the sets are so small, but of course you don't get all of the all of the high rarities in Divine Cross, not not this box here. But yeah, they also do like some collaborations. I've seen they uh, they have done a collaboration with m Magical Girls, like gushing over Magical Girls, which is like a basically like a edgy anti anime. And we get the super rare. This looks cool. But yeah, if I haven't told you that this is the super rare, uh, let me know what you have guessed it like. Can you tell that this is the the super rare on my left? I I cannot. I I don't really see uh, a difference. Maybe it's 
No, it's not even like a frame difference. It's really just the the SR in the in the bottom. And the VR. Oh yeah, this looks very, very steampunky. I like it. Oh that's cool. Also the, the background with the space theme and He's standing somewhere like somewhere and nowhere. <laughs> this looks cool. Another library background. And another rare. So yeah, they do mix like witchy theme with uh, steampunk. Which I, I haven't seen before really. At least I can't remember seeing it that they someone mixed these uh elements and another VR oh this looks like a Victorian lady very pretty so last booster pack and then I have a not to forget it a force of will pack as always still looking for my secret rare Anubis which I will probably never pull in the end, I probably have to just buy the single card, but uh, oh, we end up with another, another pretty VR, and yeah, I'm I'm happy that I did pick up a box, even if I didn't want it to in the beginning. I probably haven't pulled all. No, I I can't. I cannot pull every different VR. There are ten different ones. I think there are only five per box. So even if we don't hit duplicates, you you cannot get. All per one box, but yeah, I I did like it, the set and ah, nothing. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this uh, art design or set and yeah. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.